Okay, so uh, dating turn off. Any guy who's too like macho, like Mr. Like, yeah, like buff guy, like tough guy, like bullies others and thinks he's cool and shit, like he's too loud and obnoxious, I'm not about it. Bad hygiene. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I don't like, I like people who eat with their mouth closed. So if we're going out on dates and you're smacking eating with your mouth <laughs> open, that's pretty gross. So I like, yeah, good table manners and good hygiene. Smoke cigarettes? Smoke cigarettes. Yeah, smoke so. cigarettes, no, don't, mm -hmm. I don't like cigarettes. I guess if they're really obnoxious, that's kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. um, if they're just like mean to people, like if they're just kind of a douche. Uh, I think I definitely have deal breakers. Like, I don't know, if he's just like a rude person, like I could hate, I wouldn't like anyone who's like rude to my parents or rude to my friends. And like, I guess there are some opinions that like, I would want us to be the same on. But what about like that, that myth that asshole was finished first? Where you have to be mean to the girl and so forth. I mean, I don't think that's true. I think I personally like nice guys, so probably not. Um, I think maybe they're like more interesting at first because they actually go out and talk to girls, unlike some nice guys. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. I mean, I guess like a lot of girls like it's always interesting to have the chase, like um, like the push and pull. So like if people are mysterious or something like that. I think that's more of the thing. Like bad guys are mysterious, and you want to fix them, and that's why girls fall for them. But um, at the end of the day, I feel like people do want nice guys. Um, I feel like extreme cockiness is an immediate turn off. Like someone who's too full of themselves to realize that you're still trying to like, I guess, get to know this person. I like consistency. Like if you're trying to date me, like don't like kind of flake on me. Like if you want to be there, be there. Mm -hmm. Basically, yeah. Body odor. Um, standing too close or like touching a girl too soon. What about like um, once you get to know the guy, like you, you're interested but then um, all of a sudden he does something that turns you off. Being rude to um, like waiters and waitresses in restaurants. Cool. Uh, that's Good one. Like if he can't treat people like that nicely then how's he going to treat me? Um, so I'd be if we were on a date, was mean to my dog. That'd be huge. So if a girl has a pet, canceling plans. Canceling plans. Yeah. So like two times and then you're out? Or? Yeah, I'd say just one or two. And after that, it seems like it makes a girl feel like she's just on the back burner, like secondary. What about like um, like that thing about like how assholes finish first? Like you Ooh. have to be rude or mean to the girl? No. Mm -mm, not <laughs> no, for you. Not no. For you. Um, I think where that myth comes from mm -hmm. is that girls really like to be made to feel special. So if they see a guy who's an asshole and they think they could be the one special girl to change him, I think that's why you see so many girls kind of going up to the asshole guy. But at the end of the day, once a girl sees what a real relationship is like and how nice a guy can be, that, that all goes out the window. Arrogance. If they just seem like they know everything or they, um, you know, they're better than you, then that's, that would immediately turn me off. Chewing with their mouth open. Really? Yeah. The sound, I can't stand it. So, so how, how much would you like weigh that? Like if, like you really like him, you like a bunch of our stuff, if he's just like, and he doesn't know, like would that? I would try and ignore it and would you bring get it past up? it. Uh, maybe if it still bothered me after that, I would, yeah. If a guy is like super confident, like too confident, and he just he thinks he's like so great, better than everyone else, that's definitely a turn off. Or if he smells bad, I don't know. Other than those two, because that's like all I've been here. Yeah. Is there okay, like anything, anything else? else? Yeah. Um, I guess maybe if a guy doesn't seem too intelligent or doesn't have any, any ambition. I don't know. That's just me personally. If they just don't care about anything, they don't, besides like drinking, you know, if it, like if they don't have any real like motivation. When they like ask me to pay or they don't pay or they're like looking if I'm going to pay, like no, you should be paying <laughs> on a date. <laughs> the, and then, then, I, then we can both pay. But I think the first date, the guy should definitely be paying. Right, right, makes sense. Yeah. So you're willing to pay once you get into Yeah, it. definitely. But if you're asking me out, and it's not like me asking you out, then you need to pay for me. You don't ask me out and then expect me to pay. Right, right. right. Makes sense to me. <laughs>
Why do you think that is? Like, oh, it just like turns me off so hard. I guess because like, I really just hate the like, like masculine stereotype where like you know they act like a dick and like think that's like makes them cool. Like, mm -hmm. it's like just be a chill person. I respect like being like mellow and nice. Do you like assholes or like? nice people normally I like nice people nice guys makes sense good people who would do good things for others get to know them more and I'll probably hate them more if they're like a masculine frat guy I'll probably just end up hating them more and yeah my judgments usually turn out to be pretty correct um, for sure being rude if someone's rude I do not want to talk to them mm -hmm. uh, just because it's an unpleasant interaction and who needs that so that's like the first thing that I'm really looking at. Um, mm -hmm. Physically, there isn't anything that really would turn me off to the person. I would probably say like a turn off is if they're like disrespectful or they're not really, they're not into me or they come at me the wrong way. Um, or I know it's a, a, fa a fashion statement now, but if they sag their pants, I don't like that at all. That would probably be a turn off. It would definitely depend if it's a date. He definitely has to open the door, has to um, at least offer to pay. Um, what are some other things? Um, uh, yeah, just again, like the respect level and just um, treating me, you know, like a lady. My biggest thing is the way he dresses and looks because the way you pretty much show, I guess the way you look is I'm pretty much describing who you are and the type of guy you're into. So, um, I just, it's, to me, it's just based on how you look. If you look really sloppy, I think you're a really sloppy person. If you look really nice and put together, I think, you know, you have your head on straight and I don't, I don't know, a great person, I guess. I mean, I just like guys who are just, they just beat to their own drum. They don't really try to be something they're not. So whoever you are, it's cool with me. Hygiene, so like, if you're like really bad with that, like you smell and stuff, like I'm not gonna wanna hang out with you anymore. But like, so it just shows how much like you care about how you look and stuff. True. Um, so just like generally being a nice person. Uh, it's too cocky. Guys wearing backward hats. I don't like that. Does that play with the cockiness like, thing too? I guess. Like usually like really douchey guys always wear like backward baseball cap hats. And that's always really bad. I don't know. They're, in my experience, they're usually really annoying. They're like rude. Like if they don't like hold doors open or like... Mm -hmm stuff like that yeah they can't have bad teeth mm -hmm. and they can't have gross nails what about like once you you've gotten to know him uh, you you both like each other is there anything where it's just like not anymore mm -mm. maybe if like they have like a really bad past with someone I know like if I learn that about them then I'm like oh like that's weird I don't want to like be involved with you too clingy right away. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's annoying. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like too many calls or something. I don't know. Just wanting to hang out all the time. Yeah. After, like a week of knowing each other. Top three traits that you look for in a guy. Um, intelligent, just a funny person, and um, considerate, honestly. Funny, smart, and probably. Like, like driven. Humor. Yeah, humor. Mm. Intelligence. Yeah. Athleticism. Say yeah, loyalty. <laughs> I think I trust them. It's it's interesting how everyone says like the same thing. Really. What about like people who are like, yeah. they're dumb but they still get girls. Like, how do you think that works? I think it's more of like for me at least. I feel like it's more of a high school thing. Like high school, like I don't really care. Like. Mm. I no offense dumb to dumb people. Yeah, like yeah. I'm like I suppose like I'm like I'll date a dumb guy. Like I don't really <laughs> care. But in college, it's like we're like getting older. Like it like matters. If you're just a good person to me and to like the people around you, like if you're just gonna be like an asshole to like everybody, like I don't really want to be with that kind of person. So you you don't like people who are assholes? You know, I don't think anybody does. What about the whole myth? Assholes finish first. That is sometimes true. But in general, the assholes are like the more attractive guys. So girls tend to overlook the fact that they're assholes and because they're hot. So it's in spite of the fact that they're assholes, not because it's of the It's not fact. because they're assholes. I mean, I guess sometimes they have like this bad boy vibe. Mm -hmm. But again, if you're like too much of an asshole, that's not gonna, that's just gonna go beyond that. 